Many have died crying for wealth, but wealth does not go with anyone. The self rises and departs, crestfallen, and wealth is forsaken over here. The false mind is harassed by the death's courier, and one's demerits go along with him. The mind turning its back upon the world merges in the mind itself, and if the virtues are with him, puffed with pride of mindness, many have perished. Without the name, one comes to grief. Where are the forts, mansions, palaces, and courts? They are like short-lived play. Nanak says, without the true name, the false man continues coming and going. The Lord himself is wise and beautiful and himself accomplished and all-knowing. They who come shall ultimately go. Coming and going, they shall continue repenting. They shall pass through 84 lakhs of existences. This number decreases not, nor soars high. Only those persons are saved who love their Lord. Their worldly concerns are ended and their desire for worldly valuables is dispelled. Whosoever is seen shall go. Whom should I befriend then? I surrender myself unto Lord and my body and mind I lay before him. Ever stable art thou, O my creator Lord. I lean on thy shelter alone. Smitten with virtue, ego is destroyed and imbued with the holy word, the self develops hate for the world. None of the kings and nobles, nor any of the poor, the rich and beggars is to stay here. When one's turn comes, then no one can remain stable here. Hard, dreadful is the path of death, passing through impassable seas and mountains. Owing to the sins of my body, I am dying with grief. Without virtue, how shall I enter my home? Those with merits, taking merits with them, meet the Lord. How can I with love meet those virtuous ones? By contemplating and remembering God, the enemy of ego, I may forever become like them. The mortal is brimful with sins, but virtues abide with him as well. Without the true Guru's guidance, and so long as one contemplates not the holy word, the merits are not manifested. Human selves, God's soldiers, have taken care of their home. They pay recorded before their advent into this world. They perform the service of their Supreme Lord and obtain the profit. From their mind they forsake and forget covetousness, avarice and evil. In their body fortress, they proclaim the victory of their monarch and return only vanquished ever. He who calls himself the Lord's servant but gives impertinent replies to him, he loses his wages and he is not seated on the throne. All the exaltations are in the hands of my beloved. He gives them to him whom he is pleased with. Of himself the Lord does everything, whom else should he 